Hey there, my name's Deandra and I thought I'd do an updated video about Mercy's settings, primarily aimed at those new to Overwatch and also Mercy. At the top we have allied health bars and show friendly outlines which look like this and should just be left alone so I'm going to move past that. Toggle beam connection is Mercy's first unique setting and the way I'm going to do this video is this bit by here is going to show what setting I am using in the current footage that's being shown. By default this setting is off and means you have to continuously hold down primary fire to heal and secondary fire to damage boost. When you let go of the button you stop and your beam breaks. When this setting is on, you can press these buttons once and you'll retain beam connection until you press them again. However, I highly recommend avoid having this setting on. One reason for this is because you cannot disconnect your beam while looking directly at an ally. If you try while looking at your beam target, you'll just keep reconnecting. To break the beam, you'll either need to look away, melee, or leave range. In general, on feels a lot more sluggish and clunky, especially if you're used to the other setting. So let's say you've got the setting off. You're holding down damage boost and you quickly tap healing before lifting your finger up. Your beam automatically goes back to damage boost here and this is a really effective way of increasing your offensive beam uptime. However, if I do this with the setting on, I get stuck on heal, which is in line with how the setting should work, but can trip you up. Although one unique benefit to on that I don't recommend you use is that you can type in chat while retaining beam connection. All that being said though, if you are interested in the on setting, like maybe you have disabilities or hand issues or you're on console or you just don't want to hold buttons down, I don't think the setting is unusable, just that you have to keep some stuff in mind. Guardian Angel target priority is a big setting with three choices that really change up how you play Mercy. So let's go through them. Prefer beam target is the default and this option means you will always fly to your current beam target no matter where you're looking and what terrain based restrictions are in the way. The main benefit of this setting is how you can move about without line of sight on your team. This can make you unpredictable as you suddenly get pulled in one direction or play from pitfalls, especially now that you can press crouch at any time to shoot upwards. It also means my ally going behind a wall is not a big deal. This setting has big downsides though because to reposition, something that Mercy does a lot, you need to cut your beam first to do so. My go-to example of this has always been, okay, let's say I want to fly over there to res. Well, it would be nice to keep beaming my ally while on my way, but with on, I need to cut the beam first, which can feel finicky. Facing target only basically means you'll fly to whoever you're looking at, no matter who you're beaming. The main benefit to the setting is the immense freedom of choice you get when you want to move, and how you can move around while still retaining beam connection with no issues. One benefit that's sorta of exclusive to this setting is that you can beam an ally while looking at another ally out of range and hold down the Guardian Angel key while moving towards them to automatically fly as soon as they are a valid target. The biggest downside of this setting, however, is that you will not move if you press Guardian Angel while not looking at someone. So say you fall in a pit, you need to hold down the key and hope someone peeks you instead of just being able to fly to your beam target. Prefer facing target is basically a hybrid of both previous options. With this one, if you're looking at a target, you'll fly to them. If you're not looking at anyone when you guardian angel, you'll fly to your beam target. The main benefit of this is, well, it's basically the best of both worlds and minimizes the problems as well. The main downside to this setting is if you're beaming an ally and want to fly to someone else, but the game doesn't think you're looking at them, you will just snap back to your beam target, which can be very jarring, especially on high latency. Besides that though, and losing out on the exclusive facing target only feature I mentioned in the paragraph before, I do think this is just kind of the objectively best setting. Toggle Guardian Angel is on by default, and when it is, you simply need to press your Guardian Angel key once to fly, and then tap it once again to cancel. When the setting is off, you need to hold down the Guardian Angel button to keep flying and let go to cancel. A few years ago, On specifically did not have the ability for you to hold down the key while not looking at an ally, but then automatically fly once you looked at one. However, that has since been added. That being said, with On, if you guard an angel to someone and keep the button held down until the ability is ready again, you won't automatically fly a second time. You have to remove your finger from the button to do so. When the setting is off, you can just hold down the GA button while it's on cooldown to chain your jumps. In my opinion, off is objectively better, but even if it wasn't, I would probably still use it because I react faster to lifting my finger up over tapping a button. Guardian Angel sensitivity is 100 by default and basically how close your crosshair has to be to your ally for them to be considered a valid Guardian Angel target. So for example, the lower the number, the more precise I have to be. The higher the number, the more lenient I can be. 
Personally, I like to keep mine around 60 to 70. You don't really want to put the settings super low because if you need to quickly turn around a fallback, you don't want to then have to faff about lining your crosshair up. However, if you want a super jump res, you don't want allies between you getting in the way, hence why I drop my sensitivity a little bit. Beam sensitivity is also 100 by default and fairly similar to the last setting. Basically, this determines how close your crosshair needs to be to an ally for you to be able to beam them. Once again, the lower the number, the closer your crosshair has to be. The higher the number, the more lenient you can be. I like to keep my beam sensitivity around 50. The reason I like to have mine fairly low is so I can easily pick out specific allies when my team is playing clumped together. When beam sensitivity is very high, this can be really fiddly, which can be a problem during intense team fights where fast reaction time is crucial. And there we go, that's basically everything. The only other thing I can think of is now that pressing crouch shoots you upwards, I recommend binding that to like a side mouse button if you have one. Thank you so much for watching, feel free to join my Discord, especially if you're new to Mercy, and have a nice day!